What's going on guys? It's the Math and Man here with another episode to help you prepare for the ACT, the SAT, the PSAE, the ABCDs, whatever standardized test you got to take in the future. Today's topic will be about average, which is just the sum of a list of numbers divided by the number of numbers in that list. So let's take this really easy one as an example. Sum of the list of numbers. Here's my list. So the sum means to add them all up. 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by the number of numbers in that list. So there's three numbers on this list. I'm going to divide this by 3 and I get my average. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 divided by 3 which is 4. Sometimes they call average the mean, arithmetic mean. Those mean the same thing. Wow, that just sounded really confusing. But if they ask for average, the mean, arithmetic mean, they all mean the same thing. I'm not going to give you easy examples like this, but I'm going to give you word problems that you might see in that standardized test of yours. Let's go with example number one. If you guys want to try out these problems before I go over it, take out a sheet. Man, I almost swear at you. Take out a sheet of paper. Try it out. Pause the video because I'm going to go over it anyways. The table below shows the total number of goals scored in each of 43 soccer matches in a regional tournament. What is the average number of goals scored per match? Round that answer to the nearest tenth of a goal. Before I like to do any word problems, I always like to break it down by taking side notes like this. This says average numbers of goals per match. I'm just going to write the word goals and I'm going to write the word match or matches because we have more than one match the number right here 43 soccer matches tells you exactly how many matches there are so we're gonna put 43 at the bottom by the definition of an average that means that I have to sum up 43 items on the top and if you look at the table there's not even 43 numbers given to us so this is the part where you gotta think and read total number of goals in a match zero number of matches with this total four that means in four games they scored zero points and that pattern repeats that's where we're gonna get 43 items four matches with zero points I'm just gonna write it like this instead of adding zero four times it's the same as four times zero added to ten matches with one point five matches with two points Nine matches with three, seven matches with four, five matches with five, six matches with one, and seven matches with two. Oh, what a long list. Adding up all the numbers in the matches should match up with 43. So if I add up four, 10, five, nine, seven, five, six, and seven, I should get 43 matches. The numbers in the parentheses represents the goals scored in that match. If I clean up the numerator, I get 120 divided by 43. That equates to 2.79. And the problem says to round it to the nearest tenth of a goal. So I would get 2.8. Letter B. Tom has taken five of the eight equally weighted tests in his U.S. history class this semester and he has an average score of exactly 78 points. How many points does he need to earn on the sixth test to bring his average score up to 80 points? Wow, that is confusing. There's a lot of numbers going on right there. Some of my students are just gonna add all these up. 5, 8, 78, 6, 80 divided by 5 and hopefully they land an answer. But if you break this down, it is actually not that bad. The biggest confusion right here is this 8. That is what I call a distractor. It's there for no reason. Tom has taken 5 tests. Let's just say he took 5 tests and he averaged 78 points. And translate that to math. So his average is 78. We'll put that right there. He took 5 tests. So the number of items on that list is 5. Well, if he averaged 78 on 5 tests, and that's like him scoring 78 five times. So a shorter way to write that is five times 78. Question is asking, how many points does he need to earn on the sixth test to bring his average score up 80 points? 
So the question is saying to increase this by two, so we want 80 points on the sixth test. Let's let X represent the next test he's about to take, the sixth test. I add another item right here. That means the number of items on that list is going to go up by one because we're adding another test. From this point, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is clean it up. 5 times 78, that's just 390. Plus the sixth test, which is what we're trying to find out. 5 plus 1 is 6. Six tests and 78 plus 2, 80 points. What he's trying to get. So from here to solve for x, just multiply both sides by 6. We get 480 equals 390 plus x. And then subtract 390 to both sides. And we get our answer x equals 90 on his sixth test. If you like the video throw me a thumbs up make sure to give me a subscription and i will have more videos for you in the future peace